Akan Mashu National Park is located in Japan's northernmost prefecture, Hokkaido. It has three distinct lakes formed by repeated volcanic activity, Lake Akan, Lake Kushado, and Lake Mashu. In the heart of winter, the lakes freeze over and are blanketed by snow. The winter sights and culture of the indigenous Ainu people are worth a visit. Outdoor enthusiast Yanni Olsen is here to explore the park. Over here we have Lake Mashu. Her first stop is Lake Mashu. On clear summer days, the entire lake appears a deep mystical color known as Mashu Blue. あの、ちっちゃい島は何ですか。そこはマシュコのスコカラコカザンの隆起でできた島で、カムイシュ島というふうに呼ばれています。で、カムイシュ島というのは神の島っていう。<笑> It's minus 15 degrees Celsius out, yet Yanni receives a greeting. He is not afraid at all. It's an Ezo red fox cub. Not every day you get to see a fox on the road. This is Hokkaido for you. <laughs> Her next stop is Lake Akan. This natural phenomenon is caused by cracks in the ice. Temperature rises cause the ice to expand, pushing the cracked edges up and forming these jagged ridges. And that's not the only piece of art created by Lake Akan. These are frost flowers, made up of water vapor crystals deposited on ice. They only bloom in frigid environments. On the banks of Lake Akan is Lake Akan Ainu Kotan, the largest settlement of Hokkaido's indigenous Ainu people. The Ainu believe that everything in nature has a soul and must be revered. This traditional Ainu building is called a chise. It's made entirely with natural materials. The atushi is a ceremonial garment made from tree bark fibers and the embroidered patterns bear symbolic meaning. The Ainu are searching for ways to preserve their traditional arts. To bring in younger audiences, they've crafted a production that merges traditional arts with digital imagery. This is the sword dance. It's a ceremonial Ainu dance performed to drive away evil spirits. The audience is also invited on stage, reflecting the Ainu's wish to share their culture of harmony with nature. <laughs> 